Hello and welcome back to a new episode of our horse ranch series and welcome back to the ranch. We have got a couple of things to do today. I have decided that some things have to change starting off with firstly I want to rescue horses and I know many many videos ago I gave you a lot of poll between whether we keep Rosie or Ivy and right now we've got a full household so one of them has to go because Willow is not going anywhere. Ivy did actually have have a lot more votes in the poll a while back. Oh, also, by the way, I downloaded the playable pets mod as well. So I have been able to instruct Willow. Oh, children are not old enough to train with obstacles. I think it's because it's broken. But I am able to, should be able to instruct Willow to go and like practice the barrels and the jumps because I was able to do it with him before. Is he? I honestly don't know. All right, I think he's doing something. It seems to be a little bit broken, but it seems like a fun idea as well. So since Ivy had more votes in the poll and since Ivy has also got a better relationship with little Lena, we are unfortunately going to be getting rid of Rosie. Since downloading the playable pets mod, my game has become really laggy, which is really annoying because I kind of wanted to test it out um, with this series and I just don't know if I should keep it in the game. Let me try loading out and coming back in. It seems to still still be slightly laggy. Well, not even slightly, very laggy. All right, so I've had to literally exit out, delete the playable pets mod and reload in and it's much better. Super, super annoying because I was really looking forward to that, like to being able to control the pets and play with them as well. But if it's gonna cause that much lag to the game, it's honestly not worth it, you lot. So I'm sorry about that, but I would much rather have like a better running game than Agnes. You're in love, okay. Yeah, I would much rather have my game be running a lot smoother and a lot better than be able to play with pets you know lena's got a doctor's appointment all right you go off to that and sophia has just found some grape nectar Ooh, finally aged nicely done okay i'm gonna slot that into this selling table and she just found apple nectar not yet aged okay speaking of which why don't we go and collect all finely aged nectar bottles as well because there seems to be finely aged nectar bottles in two of these little storage units and we've also got some more rewards here we've got a first place endurance racing trophy and a second place show jumping trophy and a birth certificate but we don't need to display that Ooh, okay so we've got four bottles oh wait no six bottles of finely aged nectar in total which is amazing what's that oh that's poo these can all go into this inventory which is a mix of right old random stuff but i think why don't we give some of these like herbs and vegetables and whatever else we've got growing to tobias and he can get planting them i feel like we can have a loving growing garden but he's just got to maintain it to be fair we've got loads of money for a gardener so why are we not utilizing that i'm just gonna go and get him to plant all of these random things out here cherry plant coconut on mushrooms all right he's gonna go and get planting in the garden and you my love are gonna go and find rosie that is rosie there and i'm afraid it is now time to sell rosie for 1800 simoleons are you sure you want to sell rosie you will receive payment and the horse will leave the household yes oh i'm sorry I'm sorry, Rosie has been sold and payment was received. Selling horses is a lucrative business where success is determined. Lena has been diagnosed with asthma, okay. Willow is out there doing some jumps and whatnot. So why don't we go ahead and enter into a competition? I, in the last episode, did enter Willow into a competition, but I think 
every single day we should be doing it we should be utilizing it so let's go ahead and enter a competition with willow wait is it the same day have i entered willow into a competition maybe i have ew but that's not good can i ivy's not got anything you know what do we sell both of them and just focus on no we'll keep ivy i'm getting a bit too ahead of myself here we'll just um focus on ivy but i do want to we'll keep ivy but i do want to rescue horses let's carry on planting all of the different random things we've got in our inventory oh look the ranch hand is coming out to help he's gonna help um water well we did two things and then left all right sophia let's go practice some barrels with willow remember i wanted to give elena's little friendos a cc makeover as well so angela marie and sierra so why don't we do that now and then maybe in game tomorrow she can invite them around and meet the little animals in the ranch oh is angela an alien oh oh damn her friend angela is an alien oh this just got a whole lot more exciting let's give angela the alien i mean it makes sense aa let's give angela the alien a cc makeover she is blonde wait this is her alien look and then this is her disguise ah so this is going to be her human form all right so this is angela's alien form and then this is angela's human little disguise that's wild that she comes from a family of aliens all right let's add some cc to some of her other friends let's hope they're not vampires and blooming wolves can you imagine all right marie guffrey is next all right so far so good everyone looks normal okay marie looks absolutely normal which is good let's remove cc and let's do your cc makeover all right this is little marie guffrey cc makeover sierra has got turquoisey blue hair which of course we can keep and here is sierra clifton let me know what you think of lena's new three friends and their cc makeovers down in the comment section below tobias babe says toilets indoors come on all right go and water everything that you have planted today. Bella is uncomfortable for some reason. Lena, go check what your pup wants. Okay, Ivy, your fun is low, so now you can go and play with your ball. I'm hoping that Willow, as instructed by Tobias, will go play with his ball too. Right, can we please fill the pet bowl and call Bella to eat? Bella's got to be a hungry girly, and I don't think she has been fed yet. You must be a hungry girl. Oh, look at the way she gets onto the food bowl. <laughs> she can hardly reach it. Oh, I think she was hungry. No one has fed her all day, but she did arrive only today so she's just got settled in and now she's been fed oh, big appetite there she's gonna grow big and strong baby's crying so let's get mama here to go and shush rock and feed little louie okay i think bella needs to be taken outside so lena why don't you pick her up oh my lord bella literally ate the whole bowl go and put bella down oh she just glit put bella down outside and ask her to go do potty Ah, oh, there we go. She's probably been holding that in for so long. Okay, do you need anything else? Are you all good done? You're all good to go? Can we pick you up and pop you inside? Oh, something else. Poops. Oh my lord, how can a little squiddly do like you produce such a big poops? Oh my goodness. Okay, you need to throw that away, but also help Bella get inside. All right, Lena, that is now your bed as you are no longer in here. Daddy's gone to check on little louie nap oh he's already he's such a good dad he's already changing the nappy all right throw all those bits away and then head back to bed yourself louie is just aged up into an infant <gasps> okay let's randomize one two three louie is a wiggly infant okay this is uh interesting let's have a little look at him <gasps> okay louie has unlocked the smile trait is it or the aspect not the aspiration. What is it called? The thing that infants get. <laughs> the milestone. He has come in with hair like his dad. So I think we will give that to him. His dad's hair texture. I think also in terms of skin tone, what skin tone has Tobias got? Tobias has got warm and Sophia's skin. Oh my lord, she is ripped. Hers is two down. Okay. So, and then what one has Louis got? He's got a random one. I would think he would either have that one or his dad one. dad's one. It's annoying 
annoying that actually that Sophia has got this one because I try not to use like CC skin tones. I think I am going to give him his dad's skin tone rather than his mum's CC one. Does Lena have a CC skin tone as well? Really annoying. Okay. Yeah, I learned not to use the CC skin tones. I probably should get rid of some of them. But it really messes up your genetics when your like babies come in and it just randomizes them rather than them actually inheriting ones from their parents. All right, let's pop some CC on baby Louie. I feel like baby boy lashes are always just so amazing. And this is little Louie's infant CC makeover. Honestly, the infants are just, <laughs> I don't really see the point in having them in the game. I would have rather, at first I was like, oh, these are so cool. But now I'm kind of just bored of them. I would have rather, instead of having infants, have a stage, like a preteen stage between teenager and adult. I think that would have been a lot better but it is what it is. We can of course now delete that crib and we need to get an infant crib. So let's pop this one down with the little green mattress on it and pop Louis to sleep. Some of you were saying as well that the, the interactions between toddlers and some of the horses can be really, really cute. So I'm excited to see that as well. When does he become a toddler? In two days. Okay, so the infant state, I think I, Maybe put the infant stage to be a bit shorter. In MC Command Center, you can change yeah. it. So, um, yeah. Louis is an early riser. He's angry already. Oh, gosh. Okay, Sophia, let's get you up. I am going to go ahead and hire the ranch hand. And I believe now, if you do hire a ranch hand, it has been fixed in a patch update and they actually do stay as your ranch hand and come back on the daily. Someone mentioned that in my comment section. So now hopefully we won't have to call them again and they will just come whenever. Let's get Sophia up and fed and then she can go and start training with Willow. Lena lost her... Oh my god, wait, what? Lena lost her loose tooth. Oh no. I can't even remember what her CC looked like. Why on earth has the game done that? I thought that they fixed that glitch. I had that in one of my other series, my Nightmare Legacy Challenge that is on my yeah, second no. YouTube channel. But I thought that they fixed that blooming glitch. Let me just check her teeth. I'm gonna put those teeth on her and hopefully she should be fine now. But yeah, that is, um, that's not good, Sims. How is that still a glitch in this in this game? I'm hoping she's back to her normal self and hasn't lost her hair and changed race. What do I do? Not quite sure what to do. Can I change her outfit? Like, this isn't what she looks like. What if I go in MC Command Center? You lot, I don't know how to change Lena back. So, <laughs> yeah, I need, I, if someone doesn't mind helping me, that would be amazing. Please let me know what to do about that in the comment section below. Is it going to be the case every time she has a lost blooming tooth? How do I get her back to how she looked originally? But ignoring that for a second, we've got Sophia here training with Willow to get his skill up. I am going to enter Willow into a competition competition again today. So he is doing back-to-back -back daily competitions so that we can succeed and he can win the comps. He is getting a little bit older though, but I hope he still will be able to keep on, you know, entering into competitions and such. Not too sure what to do with Lena because when I go into Cass, she looks normal, but then when I come back into the game, she obviously does not look normal. Is there any cheat that I can do with her? Pack cheats. Growing together. Anything uh, reset the object. No, she hasn't reset. It's obviously like when she a tooth is removed. So is there anything we can get rid of to do with that? Fix missing tooth. Oh, was that it? <laughs> She's back to normal. <laughs> This stupid pack growing together sucks. All right, well, Lena, now that you're all sorted, why don't you go and chit chat with the mini animals? Oh my God, look, you can smother with love enthusiastically and show a dance move too. I want to see them, but let's see. So she's sm <laughs> It's like half the size of her. It's quite, it looks really big next to her. 
That's so cute, though. And then we're going to give some pets. Oh, that's cute. The mini animals haven't had too much attention recently as they've kind of... Well, actually, they've had... Oh, she likes dancing. Oh, good for you. They've kind of had more attention from the ranch hand, so it's nice that Lane is coming out here. She's an animal enthusiast, so she's here giving them some loves and attention, which has put her in a very energised move. Smooth moves pay off in the best ways, bring joy to animal friends and sims alike. She had some time with an animal and that's really cheered her up. She's chatted with a mini sheep, fluffy, <laughs> friendly fluff, like touching a cloud. You go to it. Once they stop yelling, mini goats are great conversationalists. Okay, right. You two, I think it is time to go and enter into a comp. So go do your quick wee wees and everything. And then let's enter a competition. Okay, what have we got? You can do intermediate with Willow, which of course he would smash. Intermediate of that. Oh my God, he can do them all. Let's do, let's do intermediate endurance racing. Surely he'll come first in that. He'd get 750 simoleons. Entry freeze 250. So you're making a 500 profit. I think, yeah, let's go do that. Even if he comes third, we'd make back what, back what we put in. Okay, yeah, Louis yeah, is rule. being fed. Lena, why don't you invite your little friendos over? So we've got Sierra, we have Marie, and then we've got Angela. Maybe we can get like a little climbing frame or something that they can play on. Oh, there are swings and stuff out here, but do we can afford a big climbing frame? So let's get like a pirate ship and pop that there. And it's going to be a pink one because that's what Lena requested. Okay, so he came second place, which is fine. We did get 625 simoleons and we can now participate in the expert. So one step up, but well done Willow. Oh bless, that's so cute. Why don't we, can we encourage him to train on the jumps, practice basic jumps? Oh my God, she's Wait, blooming come as an alien. <laughs> You're meant to be in your disguise, you big donut. Can I not change her? Change her outfit. Oh God, it's frozen. The game's frozen. Oh no, please don't tell me this alien has crashed my game. No, 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 no. Save and exit. Please have saved. Please have saved. Oh, okay. I think we're fine, but I have learned my lesson and I will not be trying to change the blooming alien out of her alien outfit. But what I am going to do is form a group with these girly whirlies. Maybe the girls are a little bit too scared of the horses because they've not been around them before. Little girl gang and alien. Kind of creepy having the alien on board as well. But they are all playing on the pirate ship together. Getting to know each other a little bit more. Since... Lena does do her studies at home. It's quite difficult to get that kind of friendship, that human interaction. Obviously, she wanted to learn from home so that she could be around. She could help out on the ranch and everything. I think her parents wanted to do that as well. But it's hard to build friendships when you're not there and you're not actually seeing people. So it's nice that even though, you know, she's not actually present in school, she has made a couple of friends. She's feeling tense, though. Asthma anxious. She's having an asthma attack. What what should she do? Wait, what? Does she not have an inhaler? Oh my god, this blooming <laughs> alien's voice is so annoying. But can we, how do we get her an inhaler? Sphere's finding a load of nectar down in the different prairie grass. So let's pop it all in. Now that Sophia is no longer pregnant, I actually want to take her and Willow back over to that adventure thing that we did before, where we only got a few levels down. I think it was somewhere up in that, like, neighborhood so let's get going let's bring willow and let's see if we can get a bit further down all right here it is let's go and canter here and explore the dread horse caverns again well, we got to 40 out of 100 I, i'm determined to get to 100 all right here they come literally the quickest i have ever seen them move which you love to see of course oh my god lena has got xenophilia from interacting with aliens behaving like the captain of a space journey She's loving being friends with an alien. I would be terrified. From out of the dark, a skeleton leaps forth holding a bone-shaped microphone. The rap battle has begun. Let's give chance for damage. Sophia defeated the creature and we got 13 simoleons. I'm scared. The giant spider. Offense. The creature does damage. No! Maybe defense. Sophia regains six health. Oh, it keeps doing damage. Okay, defense. Defense. It's the same blooming spider. 
Offense. Sophia does seven damage. How do we defeat it though? Offense. Okay, we got something. It dropped an element, a Firaxinimum. Open the treasure chest. Oh no. Sophia lifts the lid of the chest, but is shocked as a snake pops out to her hand. The snake chases her out of the cave. And now she's dazed. Can we not go back in? We have progressed 90 out of 100 of the cave. We'll go back tomorrow. Where are you going? Where are you off to in your swimming, Cozzy? Can you actually swim in that? Or is it just so that you can walk through the water? She's off for a swim. I love how this park is called Duke's Hall. Named after that, um, that Duke horse, right? That's really sweet. Let's head into the park and take Willow and we can do some training. We're dazed, we're in a bikini, but we are here. <gasps> Wait, let's go see how, how many, what horses we can rescue. Ooh, you lot. So obviously they are gonna be quite difficult. We have Cayenne, who is a foal and they are defiant, independent and energetic. Chiron, who is an adult, who is defiant, free spirit and fearful. We've got Persimmon, who is a foal, Needy, fearful, and free spirit. Princess, who is an adult, and they are aggressive, defiant, and needy. Spirit, who is an elder. Intelligent, needy, and energetic. Oh, I want spirit. Or Twang, who's also an elder and is fearful, needy. I'm not gonna go for an aggressive one, but I'm thinking either spirit or one of these. I want all of them. Oh, let's, oh, let's go for spirit. And yeah. But oh, doesn't this close at seven o'clock? I don't know, but we're rescuing Spirit. Please don't tell me she's gonna come out on Spirit in a bikini, in a swimming costume. Babes, come on. You've got the full horse riding gear. You have the full get up, the full rig out, and you're probably gonna come out in a bikini. I don't care, as long as we are doing the right thing and rescuing a very deserving horse. I think we will keep its name as Spirit. But if you do have any name suggestions for our new horsey, as as always pop them down in the comment section below but i feel like if it's come in with the name spirit it's an elder now so it's going to be used to that name oh there she is and there is a spirit but oh it's so cute look at it it's really sweet congrats you have a new horse oh it's got a little flower on its bambolini spirit is a mare okay so spirit is a she and its value is 250 simoleons Let's get Spirit home and settled into her new home. Ah, oh, Spirit's come on in. There we go. Look. And Willow is welcoming Spirit in as well. But let me know what you think of Spirit down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of Lena and her little friends. I do want to get Lena a little bit more involved in the ranch life as well. So maybe in the next episode, we can perhaps have her, you know, mountain ivy, getting used to going out for rides. I wish that the family could go out for a ride together. I don't really know if that's a possibility to all actually go as a group. But we can have a look at that in the next episode. But I hope that you enjoyed today's one i look forward to doing more competitions with willow i look forward to getting to level 100 in that cavern as well hopefully we can do that in the next episode but if you did enjoy today's one then please do give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button as well and turn on those post notifications so that you never miss a video take care look after yourselves and i'll see you next time taz out <laughs>